good morning, day two. Just at uh, the lion's den today. We came in here late last night in the dark, so that's why the camera's running. Uh, grabbed a can of meal up at the, up the pub up the top of the hill there, the lion den's pub. Uh, Going to do Starkey today, Starkey track. That's going to be a big day. It's about uh, 300 odd k's, I think, roughly, we're going to do. A fair bit of sand today, so it's going to, it's going to test me out. Uh, Cruise, everyone's just having breakfast, packing up the truck and uh, getting the bikes prepped, ready to go again. And then uh, we'll head off, so happy days. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, I'll wait until everyone starts. Thank you, Mum. Yeah, don't worry, sir. Righto, we're just about to head off. Going to leave the lion's den tonight and uh, about to do the Starkey track now. So, big day, as I mentioned earlier. I think about 300 k's we're going to do. So, let's get amongst it. Righto, this is called Black Mountain. Only sort of five minutes out of uh, where we left from the lion's den. Righto, we're just coming into Cooktown. We're going to head up to the lighthouse up in the uh, scenic area. Have a bit of a look around. Make a few phone calls, which we've got phone reception here, and then uh, head off into the bush. Here we are at the uh, lookout at uh, Cooktown. After taking a few photos of Cooktown and making a few phone calls back home, we headed off towards Starkey Track. Oh no, we just come across our first obstacle. There's a tree come down. It's been really windy today, so looks like it's not long come down. Just trying to find a way around. That's how you do it. Ooh, well done, I'm over. Just pulled up about half an hour from the turn off. We've just started the Starkey track, or well, the road into the Starkey track. So we're going to have a quick muesli bar and a drink and press on. We just pulled up at uh, Dry Creek Bed on our way in through Starkey. Probably got about another 100 k's to go yet, so still got a bit to do, but just wait for the rest of the guys to come through. Bit of a cool down to drink, and then we'll uh, keep moving. So it's quite warm today, as you can see them. Sand being quite soft and made it quite challenging to get a run up to get up out of this dry creek bed. Well done, Eddie. Here's a project for someone, old Green Acres. Look at the old girl, that'll buff out.
we've just arrived at Cow Power Station. We're going to stay here the night. We've got a uh, river crossing just up here as we come into camp. Yeah, I'm just going to get up here and set up the drone. We'll put the drone up and have a look. Show you around. Hasn't been a bad day today. It uh, turned out better than I thought it was going to be. The sand was uh, a little bit less challenging for me than the last time, which was good. I don't know about these corrugations, I don't know if you can't see them or not, but yeah, you'd shake a good car and half. Anyway, it's been an awesome couple of days. We've done just under 600 kilometres since we left. And you get a little bit easier day tomorrow. this uh, river crossing here to do and uh, we're here at our campsite for the night. That'll do for today. Right, we just rocked up at Cow Power campsite for the night. We've just... Uh, Getting a layer of gear off and getting organised, settling in for the night. Going to uh, have a feed and a few beers and uh, press on in the morning. Got our Master Chef cooking here, cooking up the storm. Hamburgers and onion. onion for tea, beautiful. With day two done and dusted and the sand not proving to be all that challenging, we were getting set for a bigger week. We knew that day three, four, and five was going to be much more challenging.